What you doing, Thomas? Are you working on your car? Working on my car without seats because it was a good idea to move the seats right at the beginning. Well, oh, I didn't tell you to move it at the beginning. Don't blame me. I'm just uh, a I'm just an RV tech. We're not too far apart, I guess. I mean, I can get you a seat to sit on. Oh, Cry, baby. I'll die like this. Don't worry. All right. So your heater core went out, huh? All this work putting your dash up together. Tear it apart again. Who would do such a thing? You know, we're almost to the heater core. Somewhere. Have you checked your cabin filter lately? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's good. Pretty sure it's good. What kind of a... What kind of guy are you? Let's inspect your cabin filter. Well, we don't need to take that out then, do we? I'm not gonna break it in front of you. I'll break it behind your back. Sure you don't wanna just disconnect the battery? Why? Airbags, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> not this one. Zip zap zip zooey? <laughs> Should clean your carpet better. Hey, I almost got the dash out. I feel like I already just did this. My turn, my turn. Was well, a lot of work, Thomas. Tear your car apart again. So 2003 Sentra, I don't recommend them. It seems like I'm always working on these things. It's an older car. <laughs> they require love. All right, so now we can get to the heater core. What? Maybe, tear some more stuff apart. Tear some more stuff apart? You know, it wasn't too difficult. You just have to completely tear the entire car apart, right? And uh, loosen up all the wiring harnesses, and then you can pull the uh, air box out. It looks like a smiley face. That's a that's a mocking face of ha 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 sucker. <laughs> and there it is. Simple job. Five hours. That's what book time is. I don't know. Maybe if you know what you're doing. Well, let's soak up your coolant there. What right, things get uh, things happen. So you got you a new uh, better AC now. A new better AC, maybe better airflow. So you got a new expansion valve, new evaporator, evaporator. And evaporator complete. Now we flip it over and do the heater core. <laughs> you lost your leaves; those are vital. No, this car isn't running green anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna guess the whole thing has to come apart. Uh, what a bother. I, I really don't want to take it apart like that. Oh, well, then, then don't do it. Just break it. Yeah. Ha, ha Fools you. I didn't take it apart. Broke it. I think it just, uh, there's a clamshell at that Well, I mean, what do you mean they're not, they're not wrong. wrong? Stop fixing your sensor, just get the car. Alright, let's put it on this flat end right here. Can we spread it? Does it spread? Alright, something else got to be holding it. It's like the final key. Hidden down right in there is that screw and that screw and that screw. Then we can separate the. All right, so with those out, the whole thing separates. The blend doors stay in because they just have the pins on the one side. Where's it leaking from? I don't know. Sure, it was leaking. 
I'm sure it was leaking. It was coming out of the evaporator. Evaporator complete. The guy is restoring his like BMW E30. Uh huh. His plumbing box is so much more simpler. Right. But then again, my car is ten years older than this one. Well, I just had to modify the foam around the heater core to make this whole thing fit back in there. Darn. Don't you wish you had a long screwdriver? I just want some magnetic tip. Well, I got something better. And so with that nonsense, this uh, plenum box is put back together. New heater core, new evaporator, new uh, uh, expansion valve, new, new, new. That foam seal's fine. Stop it. No, stop. Stop. It's just going to cause problems. You know that and I know it. Thomas, it's really just as simple as this. All you have to do is close your eyes. See? Just like that. Wow. Now it's done. No edit. That's the easiest way to uh, rebuild a car. It's just with an edit. Stop that dinging. And there they were. The evaporator with the expansion valve. A little bit dirty. This one wasn't leaking that I know of. But it was definitely uh, dirty. Not dirty no more. And the heater core. Tiny little radiator. I'm guessing it was leaking right at these uh, plastic ports there. At least that's the big hope. All right, 2003 Sentra. Major upgrades today. Got a new heater core and it's leaking. You're leaking. Turn off your engine. What? You're leaking. Turn off your engine. Both hoses are leaking. Did you get those tight? Oh no! All right. Let's see if tightening those up did it. So far, that thing warmed up pretty fast, though, right? Hopefully engine back together. Huh. So new heater core, new evaporator. I even changed out that uh, vent over there. Huh. That's a nice looking car. Put way too much work into this thing. But he loves it. He's leaking a little bit of coolant at the firewall. Just a tiny little bit. I told him to bypass the heater core. He couldn't live with that. He couldn't that? live with that. Sit yes, we're done. I don't know. Inspect the heater hose. Make sure heater hose. Make sure they're not leaking. Oh, you should make sure it's blowing hot air. Now you have hot air. Mm. <laughs> well, it feels warm. I got airflow there. Here is a sweet looking Sentra dash. Maybe eventually I can stop looking at it. Yeah, I don't think we're dripping no more. So we're calling this one good. I'm calling it good. Big O. 1.8 four cylinder. Don't slam my hood. Push the wrong button, Thomas. I'm recording. Hey, that guy. This guy. Down here at the shop. And uh, we're doing the front end. Steering rack and pinion. And uh, maybe even a subwoofer today. Who's to know? It's my son. He's a mechanic now. He's teaching me how to do this. Peace. What's up, Thomas? Huh? So what are you doing? I put one of my super engine mounts in. You get it? Well, yeah, there's just we have to raise the engine for those other bolts. But... Well, yeah, we dropped it, remember? Yeah. Why Happy you... Thanksgiving, Thomas. 2018! Peace!